As flu season is starting in many parts of the world, how would you know if you have flu or COVID-19? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are talking to Dr. Sylvie Brion about flu and COVID-19 today. Welcome, Sylvie. Sylvie, let's start with how would people know if they have caught the flu or COVID-19? So the flu is uh, very common, especially in this season. And usually the symptoms are fever, um, headache, muscle ache, uh, but also upper respiratory symptoms such as uh, sneezing and, and coughing. Uh, for COVID-19, uh, it's the same symptom basically, but in addition, we have uh, specific symptoms such as anosmia, which is a lack of smell, and agosia, which is a lack of taste. And uh, many people, especially young people, have experienced this uh, additional and specific symptom for COVID-19. But sometimes uh, people have very few symptoms, whether it's for flu or for COVID-19. It really depends on your level of immunity. What is important to know really uh, for those two diseases is that uh, the prevention measure works for both of them. Uh, and especially washing hands, it's very important. Then uh, ventilation of rooms when you are uh, with, uh, cr in crowded rooms with a lot of people in particular, so open the window. Um, also wearing mask if you cannot open the window and maintain uh, physical distancing. And, and both diseases are really preventable if we apply those uh, measures. So Sylvie, talk to us about the groups that are most at risk from the flu and also talk to us about the safety of taking the flu vaccine for those people who do have access to the flu vaccine and the COVID-19 vaccine. Is it safe to take it? So the group most at risk for uh, influenza are um, elderly, uh, people with underlying conditions such as uh, uh, chronic respiratory disease, cancer, uh, cardiovascular disease. Um, and these are a similar group as for COVID-19. But for flu, in addition, uh, pregnant women and uh, very young children, infants, are also more at risk for severe disease. So is it safe to administer uh, flu vaccine and COVID-19 at the same time? Yes. Uh, we have now few studies that show that it is safe to have both vaccine at the same time. Uh, but of course, people need to check with their physician about their indication uh, to take uh, both vaccines. Sylvie, talk to us about how the composition of the influenza vaccine is decided and also speak to us a little more about the safety and efficacy of the flu vaccine. There are many, many uh, different influenza viruses out there and actually they change very often. And so what is very important is to know uh, what are the predominant viruses in a given setting so that we can take uh, the antigen of this virus to, um, sell, to um, compose the vaccine. So uh, that's why we have around the world 136 laboratories constantly monitoring the circulating viruses and twice a year we have expert meeting to define uh, what are the predominant viruses in certain places of the world. So we have two vaccine composition meetings per year, one for the Northern Hemisphere and one for the Southern Hemisphere. So the flu vaccine has existed for many decades and it's a very safe vaccine. But it's very important to have those expert meetings to define the composition of the vaccine, to make sure that we put in the vaccine the component that will really better protect people against the circulating viruses at a given time. And this vaccine is very recommended to at-risk people so that they can be protected against severe flu and death when the season starts. Thank you, Sylvie. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy and stick with science.